Hi, this is Angela Skirtu, and I'm the author of the book, Helping Couples Overcome Infidelity, A Therapist's Manual. This is available January 28th, 2018, Amazon. So today's video is a unique one, and it's going to be hard for some people, but basically I am talking about why people have affairs. And um, I guess the answer is that there's no easy or noble reason for this. But what I've noticed is that a lot of people have a certain time in their life where they start to feel restless. They start to wonder, what's out there? Is there anything more than what I've got now? Marriage has a way of getting very dull and very routine. And there's nothing wrong with marriage. I actually love marriage. I'm a marriage advocate as a marriage therapist. I'm a sex therapist. And I do want to help people have healthy, adventurous lives together. But the reality is there's a mundaneness to marriage. There's a routine to marriage that over time can be, I don't know, it's daunting, overwhelming, exhausting for people. Because a lot of what you're doing in man marriage is you're managing quite a few roles. You're managing your roles as parents. You're managing your roles in, with finances. You're managing roles with chores. Uh, getting kids to school or getting people where they need to go. You feel like a chauffeur, a butler. And um, all of that is in addition to trying to keep your romance, your romance strong and keeping that healthy vitality, somehow finding time for hobbies and sex. <laughs> and I think that couples struggle with the balance between the two of these things, the balance of the work of life and the excitement and the craziness of the wild part of life that really draws people in. And so as a result, I think that there's a few people in the world right now, or at least in America, that are feeling this sense of restlessness. And because there's quite a few people having the same feelings, then sometimes you find each other. And it's interesting because a lot of the infidelity, it's a married person with a married person. It's rarely single people because single people want usually want to find another single person to get married to at some point. Crazy idea, right? So it's not it's not a single person who's wanting to be a homewrecker. It's usually a married person who is a little bit bored in life and uh, who meets another married person who's bored and they usually start commiserating. It doesn't always start this way, but it's pretty common, at least in my office, to see that it started with people commiserating, like saying, you know, I just had a rough day with my husband, or I had a rough day with my wife, and oh, I'm just having trouble with, you know, like, so you start sharing problems, and the sharing of problems is something that makes them feel connected, it creates an intimacy, um, and it's usually, what will happen is, is uh, the, the line that's crossed is that they don't let their partner, their married, their husband or their wife know that they're having this conversation, this commiseration conversation. They keep it a secret. And the secret also makes it a little bit exciting and intoxicating because it's something that's all yours. Nobody else gets to be a part of. And there's an excitement to also having something you don't have to share. That's the hard piece too. So for the person who was faithful in the relationship, it's, it's very painful to know that their partner kept this secret or these lies from them. But part of the excitement and the intoxication of the infidelity is the keeping of the secret and the lies is that the, essentially this kind of thing that's all for myself. And um, so it starts with commiseration. It starts with kind of having something that's just for you, a little selfishness, but selfishness probably in not the greatest direction because it doesn't help the marriage to have an affair, really. Um, and so then it just kind of spirals after that. People just, you know, like maybe somebody starts flirting, then somebody flirts back, and then maybe they're starting to secretly meet, and, and then it turns into an affair until finally somebody finds out or somebody confesses and... And then you come, you end up in my office, actually. Um, so I guess the answer for why people cheat, I mean, that's one reason. That's one path. But it's hard, to, it's hard to know exactly why. Why are people cheating? Is it because they hate their partners? No, most people don't. Most people love their spouses, their husbands or their wives or whoever. They love them. They love them. So it's not because they don't love you. And it's not because... They want to hurt you. That's the that's the weirdest thing too. Is so even though people know that cheating hurts their spouse, they don't want to hurt their partner. That's part of why they keep it a secret. Is that they want something for themselves. They're feeling alive as a result of this infidelity, but they don't want 
to hurt their partner by this piece of them that that is basically craving something else. And um, they aren't trying to manipulate you or sometimes they're not even trying to end the marriage. Like actually quite a few people after a marriage, after an infidelity will still come to work on things in treatment. And so part of the struggle then is that there's no noble reason to cheat. There's no like, there's nothing that makes it better. Just knowing the why, I mean, the why could be the opportunity that like I met this person who was in a similar life cycle transition and we just kind of connected. So um, knowing why doesn't necessarily help, but I think a lot of people are seeking that answer and that's why I'm creating this video. And that is that uh, there's a lot of different whys, but it doesn't fix the problem necessarily. So this has been Angela. I know this hasn't been the best video, but it's at least trying to answer the question. And I'm, I'm sorry, it's a tough question to answer. There's not great answers. So if you need some help though, and you found out recently somebody's cheated on you or you cheated on somebody and you need help, please come come to therapy. I'm here to help you figure out those answers. And the website is www.therapistinstlouis.com. And please like, share, subscribe, or even ask questions in the comments. I'll make a video about one of your questions. All right, thank you. Have a great day.